What's going on everyone? This is Slam Show dropping real quick. Last week I asked you guys if you'd want me to tweet every other day. Wait up, not tweet every day, but vlog every other day or vlog once a week. And the winner, the choice that you guys all chose for me was once a week. So from now on every Monday I'll be coming up with quick vlogs, uh, just basically details of how our team practice went for that week what we're doing for that week, did I do anything out of the ordinary, like jump out of a plane or something crazy like that. So every Monday, be prepared, Flame Sword will be logging. So basically for this vlog, I'm going to tell you guys how our weekend went. Uh, we all flew out to California to hang out at the Rebel headquarters. Big shout out to them for flying us out. Uh, big shout out to Sam for bringing us into the family, and so let's just get straight to it. Friday, me and Ace got in Thursday night, so we were able to hang out on Friday and just have an open free day to just hang out around the area and see what's up. We decided to go surf. Uh, we woke up around 7 o'clock in the morning. Ended up only surfing at 10 o'clock, but it was worth the wait. I want to give a huge shout out and props to all surfers. It is not as easy as it looks. Uh, out of 50 something times, I only got on the board six times. It's just not as easy as it looks. Uh, I have a new appreciation for it. I want to get into it. I want to be able just to get on the board every time and get better and better. So after we were done serving, me and Ace were basically starving. The waves exhausted us, and we were just ready to go chat down. We walk around Venice Boardwalk for a while to see if there's anything we like. Uh, basically, all the little restaurants on the side were packed. There were lines. Uh, it was real hot and sunny, so we were like, all right, forget this. Let's go back to our hotel and look if there's anything around it to eat before we just call it a quit and just order room service. We find this little Mexican place, uh, we get some burritos, Ace gets this huge burrito, it's called the Giant Burrito on the list, it's about this size, if the camera picks that up good, and just this height, and it was an enormous burrito, and for the first time in my life, I saw Ace not finish eating a meal, and they don't call it the Giant Burrito for nothing. 30 minutes later, Shibby heads over to our area, which we found out that he was going to be in a couple days ago through Twitter. Uh, so we made it a point to hang out with him. Always great to hang out with the staff members uh, outside of the gaming environment. So it was pretty cool to hang out with him. We hung out with him for, I'd say, an hour or two. We were just on, we went back to the Venice Boardwalk uh, and uh, found a little restaurant. Finally, they opened up. So we just sat on the side, got some appetizers and just watch all the crazy stuff that happened on Venice Beach, which, which was hilarious. After that, we headed back to our hotel. Shibby had to go, and uh, we were at our hotel just basically waiting for Assault and Naval to land. They landed. We got picked up. They got picked up, uh, and we went to the Rebel headquarters and just gamed basically for the rest of the entire night and ate pizza and then came back home and called it a quits. Saturday was basically just... We were at the Red Bull headquarters, uh, did a little photo shoot thing, it was pretty cool, just so they could build packages, I guess, images for us, and uh, it was cool. Uh, after that, we had some bomb-ass sushi. I'm not really a sushi guy, but this sushi we were eating was fantastic. We had to eat real quick, I think we had a 15-minute like minute time to eat, because we set up a two-hour indoor skydiving session, which was the coolest thing in the world. There was, I think, eight of us. And uh, we all went out there. I've already done it once, so I kind of had a feel of what I, I would have to do. So, the cool thing about this is that we actually flew with two uh, Red Bull Air Force athletes, so it was awesome. So, getting instructions from them made it a lot easier. And me already knowing a little bit of the basics on how you're supposed to approach it uh, helped me a lot to pick up on things quicker and just be able to do things that I wasn't able to do on my first time going skydiving indoor skydiving. After that, uh, we head home. Uh, LA traffic is insane. We only got home like at 1 after being doing indoor skydiving for 2 hours. So it was already midnight and the traffic that we got hit with on a, on a Saturday night was insane to only be able to get home like at 1.30 for midnight. Uh, after that, team basically just packed up their clothes and we just hung out for an hour before I had to go to sleep because I had the earliest flight. Uh, at 10:15, so I, I made sure to point down here to some sleep, and uh, I got so it. So I'm back home now. It's Monday. The team decided that we would start practicing for Columbus today. So I'm gonna get out of here, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. I got a lot of big things planned out for you guys to just involve the community more and just do things for the fans. So be on the lookout for status quo this year, guys. Later.